Hello friends. So in this video, uh, I'm going to uh, discuss about the parenting styles uh, which we commonly see in all the families globally. So let us see what are these parenting styles. So before moving to the styles, uh, let us see what is parenting. So parenting is the process of raising children and providing them with protection and care in order to ensure their healthy development into adulthood. So this definition is given by uh, Britannica.com. So what they are saying about parenting is just it's a process of raising children and providing them with the protection. So everything is the uh, is in the hands of parents only and why we are doing this parenting because it is a unique skill we can say. So we are through which we are ensuring uh, the health and the development of the children and we are making them and we are pushing them into the adulthood stage as a healthy person. And if we talk about what is parenting style, so parenting style is a psychological construct representing standard strategies that parents use in their child rearing. So this definition is given by Wikipedia. So it is a psychological construct representing the standard strategies where the parents is following or having some kind of strategy in order to regulate the behavior or to raise the children in their family. And the second definition says like this, defined as a constellation of parents' attitudes and behaviors towards children and an emotional climate in which the parents' behaviors are expressed. So parenting style, it is an expression by the parents only. When they are expressing, when some they, something there is an emotional climate, it is created because the behavior and attitude of the child or the mother or the father or the parents feels that it is important to regulate or correct the behavior of the children. In such situations, this style is expressed. So we can say it is a parenting style. So this definition is given by Darling and Steinberg in 1993. We have some of the goals also why we have this parenting uh, in all the homes and these goals are expressed by American Psychological Association in 2018. So there are three goals for the parenting for any parenting styles. One is uh, parenting is to ensure children health and safety. So that is the reason we are doing parenting and secondly preparing children for life as productive adults. So this is a major responsibility and many of the parents, uh, they miss this step. So that's why the adults are not productive and they are becoming an antisocial element. Third one is transmitting the cultural values. So this is uh, the responsibility of the parents only. They have to transfer the cultural values from the previous generation to the current generation to the next generation. So here, in the recent scenarios or the recent times, this uh, process is missing because of the lack of understanding between the parents and the child or the relationship which they exist between the child and the parent. So this uh, the gradually it is vanishing in the society. So there are uh, three goals that why we do this parenting. If you see the significance of parenting styles, there are several researches conducted and they have given the conclusion also. Uh, they have found that consistent link between parenting and the child behavior adjustment. So this, uh, the style the parent follows in order to regulate the child behavior and attitudes plays a vital role in uh, adjustment of the child with the other uh, external sources. So the quality of parenting can be more essential than the quantity of time spent with the child. So how long you spend uh, with your child it is not important but how qualitatively you are spending time with the child that is most important because that is sufficient to regulate the child's behavior right so here we have some of the problems as well poor parenting styles leads to development of either internalizing or emotional behavior examples we can say the child may end up with anxiety and depression or sometimes uh, the child may face the problems with the externalizing or disruptive behavior so this includes ADHD that is attention deficit hyperactive disorder or the child may end up with the conduct problems okay, or behavioral problems. So these are the uh, abnormalities we can see in the children when the parenting style is not appropriate or it is not conducive to the child. B 
we have uh, four different uh, parenting styles which is commonly seen in all the families uh, we'll see one by one first is authoritarian parenting second is authoritative then permissive parenting and the last one is neglected or uninvolved parenting authoritarian parenting the first style of parenting style here what the parents are doing the parents are very rigid in their rules so they make the rules and it is to, should be followed by the children right and they are very rigid it is to be followed means followed only so they expect absolute obedience from the child without any questioning so here there is no two way communication it is only one way communication whatever the parent says the child should obey and expect the child to accept the family belief, beliefs and principles without questions so no, no questions asked about anything and the parents are very strict disciplinarians often relying on even physical punishment also and the withdrawal of affection to share their child beliefs sometimes they may quarrel with their children they don't speak to the children they don't love their children for some time they think that in order to correct the behavior i am doing so okay but that is wrong so children raised with this parenting style are often moody they are unhappy sometimes and say they are fearful because of over controlling or over strictness and they become irritable and they also tend to be shy withdrawn and the lack of uh, self confidence and sometimes what happen if affection is withheld the child commonly is rebellious and antisocial so this style of parenting is not advised because it is a one way Uh, process or only the parents are ruling the children here the child is not having any freedom either to express their feelings or to communicate to their parents okay so this is a highly uh, dangerous parenting style we can say second style of parenting is called authoritative parenting here the parents show high levels of warmth and high levels of control so both are in extreme level parents are both responsive and demanding they are firm but they discipline with the love and affection rather than power so here there is no uh, rigid rules are made by the parents they are okay they are expecting some kind of discipline from the children but same time they are having love and affection as well there is no withdrawal of the love and affection like we seen in the authoritarian parenting and they are likely to explain rules and expectations to their children instead of simply asserting them so here they are always with the children and they are explaining the rules and expectations so it helps the child to understand also and to move with the parents also easily so this type of parenting often results in children who have high self esteem and are independent inquisitive happy assertive and interactive so these are some of the positive um, behaviors we can expect when authoritative parenting style is followed right so it is a com- comfortable parenting style for the parents as well as the children third type of parenting style is called permissive parenting here high levels of warmth and low levels of control is expressed by the parents on the children so they are acting like more like a friend than a parent so sometimes they forget their role also okay so they are actually the parent but they forget their role they are taking the side of the children only so they don't understand that we are parents we have some responsibilities and the parents have little to no expectations of their children and no guidance or direction given to the children in uh, crisis situations or when problem arises okay so or when conflict arises the parents are not giving any guidance and uh, there are empty threats of punishment without setting limit simply they say only but there is no punishment given to the children and they keep on talking only right so here the parents have lack of involvement lack of follow through and lack of parenting ability that may be the reason why they are following this permissive parenting style or they are not unaware about or they are not having experience of managing the children so that may be the reason they are taking the side of children and they have high levels of warmth they are protecting the children showing love and affection but there is no control over the children okay yes a role a reversal occurs here what it is role reversal the children act more like the parents and the parents behave like the children so here the role reversal occurs and the parents listen to their children whatever the children says the parents are doing so accordingly they are changing the role that's why there is no control there is no expectations and the parents lack the parenting ability okay so this parenting has been linked to the children will become bossy in nature because 
the role reversal happens so they are ordering to their parents so, so they will become like a boss commenting and dependent low levels of self esteem self control and achievement and impulsive behavior in children so these are the negative things will develop in children if uh, the parents are following the style of permissive parenting style because there is no control at all and moreover role reversal happens so this will be the problem for the children in future stages fourth and the final uh, style of parenting is called neglected or uninvolved parenting here the title itself it is very clear they are not at all involved in parenting and completely they are neglecting their children or they are showing no interest at all in parenting okay so the parents will have low levels of warmth and low levels of control both are in uh, uh, <coughs> which abnormal level we can say because they are not showing warmth or they are not having control over the children so it does not utilize any discipline style so they do not follow any of the style whether they are not uh, not following authoritarian or authoritarian or authoritative or permissive completely they are detached from the relationship with the children so they often displays little interest in being a parent right so there may, may be the reason they are psychologically affected or having uh, severe uh, illnesses or the diseases that may be the reason why they are detached or uh, purely they are not having interest or they have interest on something else right the parents are neither responsive nor demanding and they may be careless or unaware of the child's needs for affection and discipline so parenting is associated with the behavioral problems and the depression so ultimately there is no guidance no love and affection definitely the child will go into the stage called depression only so in adolescent it may lead to aggressive delinquent behavior and attention problems so these type of children only when they are growing and when they reach adolescent and adult stage they become an anti social element because there is no supervision over the behaviors of the children right so ultimately they feel that they are the boss they are the parent and there is no uh, person or uh, to control over them so this uh, will develop uh, some kind of abnormalities or anti social activities later in the uh, stages of the children okay so collectively when we talk about this parenting styles i feel personally authoritative parenting is a perfect parenting style that fit with the growth and development of the children because it has um both love and affection in a balanced manner where they are having control over the children and whenever there is a requirement of guidance and direction it is given by the parents and moreover the child also understands uh, the feelings and affection of the parent so it is the perfect styling or pa parenting style that every parent can follow in order to have some positive input and put an outcomes in the children's behavior right so this is all about uh, parenting styles thank you